So what significance does research play in the care for patients? Yeah, so research really is an opportunity for, for practicing physicians, specifically for oncologists in this case, to really take part in, in that new investigation, to really help be a part of, of uh, finding out new and novel ways in which we can treat cancer, developing new strategies, and, and really we feel like the best ideas w would really come from them. They have very practical and hands-on experience. They work directly with their patients and can really help us in aiding which direction we, we really need to go towards in developing new types of, of cancer right. treatment strategies. Intermountain Precision Genomics feels it's very important to dedicate time and, and offer them protected time so that they have time to develop those types of ideas, apart from being in the clinic and seeing lots of patients and, and being very busy there, right. we feel like it's important for them to, to have the, the ability to, to learn and grow professionally so that they can really take part in that, in that research. Um, the other way I, I feel like is, is, you know, patients that are on a clinical trial oftentimes have gone through some very um, emotional uh, times in, in that they're somewhat uh, desperate for, for new ways in which we can treat their cancer. And so a clinical trial, for example, gives them hope to both them and as well as their provider. Um, this might be a, a way in which they might be able to extend their life or, or see better outcomes, for example. And so our, our new cancer research facility at uh, Intermount Medical Center provides them those types of opportunities. It's solely dedicated to perform clinical trials. Um, and they can go there to, to learn about what's being offered, they, they have a, we have a dedicated research team as well to guide them through that entire process. Uh, being on a clinical trial, for example, is something very new sometimes to, vi to, to these people. We want them to feel very comfortable. They are volunteering their time, and we want to make the best experience possible for them. So patients today are very educated. They have the internet, they have social media, they're constantly finding resources to research for themselves. How is that playing a role in clinical research and where can they find information if they so want some? Yeah, it's great. You know, one of the, one of the biggest challenges of, of clinical research trials is finding the right kinds of per participants and, and reaching out to them and recruiting those, those types of individuals. Many times we have to work through their treating physician in order to do that, but if we can get patients to do their own research and to reach out to us, for example, and say, you know, uh, you're, you're conducting this trial, I think I might be eligible, let's, let's talk about that. And we're seeing that, and, and I think it's a great thing that patients are educating themselves more and more. We're, we're hoping that, that we can provide the ability for them to learn about what's being conducted at, at Intermountain facilities. And so they can go to the website, they can learn about what types of trials, what kind of cancer are we studying, and, and, and so they can start that dialogue. But there's a wealth of information out there for them to be able to learn about their own cancer, what, what type of research is ongoing or what's coming uh, you know, in the future so that they uh, have opportunities. They're, they're really providing those opportunities for themselves and ultimately we can take advantage of that. So you become a team partner. Absolutely. With your physician, with the research, and the patient all kind of moving Absolutely. forward. Absolutely. This is, this is a great way for the, for the patient to really have a very strong voice in what types of uh, treatment they're, they're ultimately going to be receiving.